Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Ed and the Misadventures. Uh, the second level, as you can see, this is our introduction to the hub world, so you can choose what level you want by going to various places. Arrows are pointing to them. So, before we go to the next level, which is the sewer, which was right in front of us there, we're gonna run around over here to the vintage Jawbreaker machine. Because it is one of the collectible things we can do. First one is one Stan, penny. But... It, it, incredible. But, but, but Stan... What? Why Why is there just kind of a ball sack on the screen? Oh, uh, you'll, you'll find out later. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we got a whole bunch of vintage Shawbreakers. Right off the bat. It's, it's up, intriguing. Right? But I'd like to take a moment to just point out how great Shorty's fucking idle face is. Right. By the way, our new guest crap. for uh, this episode is Ryo. Say hi. Hi, you just lost five subscribers. This is true. But yeah, off to the sewers we go. Uh, or, or not. There we go. Ah, Ed boys! Cast aside like old bath water that has not been used for broth. Hail Jimmy refuses the Ninka poops from entering his celebration. Hello! Goodbye! What? Wait a minute! We can't let a chump like Rob keep us from this party! We gotta get in there! Oh, I know, I know! We can crawl through the stinky sewers like the bacteria fusing blob in I was a teenage slime chippy! I don't know. It seems terribly risky and unsanitary, to say the least. It'll be a cinch! Come on, boys! We got a party to catch! <laughs> But it's not so, Rolf who's keeping you out, it's Jimmy and his sign. Eh, same difference. Okay. J just remove the sign. I mean, I guess they're crashing it just on principle because fuck Jimmy. Because you know it's Jimmy, he's gonna have the lamest fucking party. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, here we meet two new enemies. First is the rat, second is crocodiles. Rats are chumps who go down to one hit. Crocodiles, they take like three or four. Great. What are we supposed to do now? It's elementary, Eddie. If we move down into the water on the other side, you two can lift me up to that crank. I'll lower the bridge, allowing us to cross together. Hey, bye, poor bum. I smell cheese and onion buns. <laughs> there you go. So that's the plan. But before you go and do that, there's a jawbreaker over here. Jawbreakers! No. They're finding jawbreakers all over this place. Why even bother with scams? This... Well, I mean, where else are you going to find sewer-flavored jawbreaker? Uh, There's nothing to do with yeah. scams, though. But if you're wondering why I'm attacking the air, it's to further show off that Eddie's the best for combat because his yo-yo has the best range. So we can just sit here and hit these crocodiles over and over and over. But shouldn't Ed be the strongest since he's got, like, retard strength? No, no. Yo-yo. Yo-yo over Ed. Dude, at one point he turned into a monster that vomited sticky glue cereal. Yo-yo, like, dude, more yeah. powerful than Ed Boy. But he, he beat Rolf! No, no, this no. Is break rock? <sighs> but, you see... Here's the key you're missing, Ryle. Remember, they had to trade Rolf a yo-yo for plums. So clearly, the yo-yo is much more powerful and valuable. Unless you get some plums, which are better. No, no. You see, Rolf was willing to get rid of his plums for the yo-yo. Therefore, the yo-yo is more value. Well, no, he had a lot of plums is why he was willing to get rid of them. But yeah, simple stuff. And here's something we'll show off whenever the Eds get cut off from each other. As soon as you open a pathway, they will, the AI will have you, uh, will just have them run to you. Which is convenient. Hey, that path thing isn't too bad. Until yeah, we fall off. Exactly, which is why I transitioned. So. It, no it took way off. longer than necessary in order to fucking. <laughs> It's a lock! 
No, no, no. It's got gears and stuff. He <laughs> just simply pulled all the mechanisms out of the lock, which yeah. caused the door to open. Yeah. Don't you understand <sighs> how science works, Ryo? I do. So you I seem tanky as hell in this game. Well, this game is made for like, what, eight year olds? I don't think they're gonna friggin' ball bust you about everything. Oh, so it was perfect for you. Shut up. Anyway. Hey, you said it nasty. last night! Picture an ass. Oh, and by the way, break the pipes because otherwise, uh, the rats will infinite respawn. And going down here is worthless, but Tom did it anyway because he wanted to beat up some crocodiles. I had to show them who's boss. <laughs> King of I'd the like sewers, just, totally. Let's just process that a bunch of ten-year-olds are killing crocodiles. It's pretty awesome, if I do say so much. It is. And yeah, you have to be zoomed in in order to hit these. Otherwise, it doesn't count. Well, you gotta aim. Even though you can hit other targets just fine while <laughs> fucking zooming in. Right. But yeah, Double D, whereas in the first level, uh, Ed got the most use, here Double D gets the most use. They basically want you to get used yeah. to how he works. You can even use Double D to clip through walls and skip this entire sewer. Pretty much, yeah. I wanted to show that off, but someone doesn't like speedrunning. Not when I'm trying to well, show off everything in a game I don't. Hey, why not do both? I, that's literally impossible. Nah, 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 see, you do the normal run, then you do a speed run after. Sure, Tom speed run and end Eddie for me. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, you want to go over here rather than veering off to the left. And also clams. I hate clams. Because you can't kill them, you can only stun them. They are annoying. Well... Yeah, at least it's not that weird pickled vegetable Rolf made everybody eat. I guess. Chicken! <laughs> What's a chicken doing in the sewers? Oh, what's it doing anywhere else? Sorry, right, here we'll get our second Easter egg. There we I go. You killed it. Oh boy. Yeah. You said this game was for eight year olds. No, this is clearly nine and up. <laughs> But yeah, ignore the clams if you can, and proceed forward. If you're wondering about what was, uh, what that other path led to, you're actually about to find out, because both paths, uh, lead to the same place. Ah, uh, we can't have multiple paths in this game. Mm -mm. Well, no. Especially not one that has secrets. Oh, but there's this door we can't get by. What do we do? Oh, hey. Clip through the wall, that's what. Nah. Instead, just adjust nothing. Intriguing. What's that most intriguing is generating cogs. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this is the room that both paths lead to. Why are there so many pictures of Naz? I'm wondering. Well, she's the town's bicycle. Everyone's had a ride. Oh my. <laughs> Yeah, so there's cog up there, so we need to use the trample head to get up there. And we're cutting away there because if you go forward like that, that's actually a trick. You're supposed to go in through the side. Hmm, this should work. There we go. I can't get over how smug his idle animation is. Who's? It is. It's just fucking wonderful. Look at him. All right. Now we're in the Hall of Rats. But don't go speeding through it, because as per usual, there is stuff to be had. But, but speed! No. Gotta go fast! No, yeah, but walls. Gotta break down these walls with that. And beat up more crocodiles. I, I want to point out that that was indeed stone. He just shattered, and yeah. yet the yo-yo is stronger. Yeah. But, but the yo-yo does not break stone. Yo -yo I guess he's only rock. good against rocks. And behind this okay. wall, you'll find another crocodile. 
Okay, important question. Uh. Are there secret weapons in this game? No. You can't ever wield a fish? Nope, but you can get a jawbreaker. That's what I found, guys! It's not the same. This... So, alright, moving on. How intriguing! The valve to operate that door is missing. Well, find it! The longer we stand around, the less people will see my latest disco moves! Good point. And there's our resident testicle now. Hey, Johnny. Oh, he's the nutsack. <laughs> yes. So Johnny's still an asshole. Good to know. Yeah, he is, because here's the thing. If he really traversed all the way down here, he would have seen there was, like, a fucking army of clams on the way. No, no, it's the only plank wants the clams. Uh, and he can't shoot over this for some reason. Why? <laughs> look, look, that gate is actually twice as tall as it appears. Apparently... Bam! Skillful shot from across the room. Damn right. <laughs> Glad I did it. Oh but, Jesus! Uh, I'm playing this level. <laughs> the picture has Satan. Yeah, I know. But yeah, it's a thing. The levels start introducing from here on out. The cankers can just kind of randomly uh, show up to fight you, or attack you rather. See, like that. Like that. That's messed up. They even have tracking. Hmm. And this is why clams are the worst. And I yes, think you they mean can the stack. best. The worst. They're like leeches. They're the worst. The only thing worse is red friends. squirrels. Red squirrels. Yes. Okay. And our last valve. Uh, I was just fooling, guys. I threw it down the manhole. Totally. Yeah. Damn you, Tony. Second sewers. Don't go back up just yet, though, because there is a jawbreaker here. So do you have concept art? Say what? Concept art for collecting the jawbreakers. No. Oh. Yeah, you have to collect something else in order to get the concept art. Yeah. So what else is down here, you might ask? Well, you're actually supposed to head up now. Because Johnny kind of forgot something, if you notice. His dignity and pride? No, Plank. Let's kill yep. Plank. Exactly. Hey, Johnny! Looks like you forgot about your best pal! No! Plank! So, how about that valve, Johnny? These clams look kinda hungry. Plank says, bring it on, you sissies! What the sh Just give us the valve, and I'll give you a plank! Plank says you are tricky. Alright, I'll give up the valve, just don't hurt him! Alright, Double D, let's install that valve and... Plank knows everything. Plank's an asshole. Johnny never got Plank back. I like how they actively broke their word. Well, of course they did. Why wouldn't they? They're the ads. What? No. I mean, Johnny. We lowered the water. Give us the fucking valve. Heh, <laughs> no. Yeah, Johnny's a douche. <laughs> but, uh, now we're in the final stretch of this level. So just do a quick sweep so nothing interrupts. Also get some money. 
If you haven't noticed, Raya, one quarter equals one cent in this world, apparently. Hmm. Meaning those vintage jawbreakers are insanely expensive. Yep. Why? Because they're vintage. I wouldn't want vintage candy. I do. No, see, I want it fresh. You can make a collector's vintage jawbreaker. Yeah. And then combine a thousand of them to create the Omega Jawbreaker. Combine a thousand of them and you create diabetes. <laughs> okay, so do you get to trash his party now? Pretty much. Good. Because for some reason, Jimmy's backyard directly leads to the sewer. I don't know why. But before you go breaking those pinatas, be sure to dig in the sandbox. Get another costume piece. You didn't jump in the pool. Nah. But yeah, this party's freaking dead. Look at it. There's no one here. Bull. That's because it's a party for Jimmy. <laughs> True. Rolf's not even here anymore. Who fucking left? Right. No, Rolf's in the stall. <laughs> so, alright. I guess we'll just break these pinatas. There's three of them, and you want to use the trample to get to them. First one has cats in it. Why? Why not? Don't you put cats in pinatas? That no, that's no. not a reward. <laughs> uh, okay, well, second one has a jawbreaker in it. Okay, that's I legit. I mean, that's more appropriate, but like, goddamn, with that hearth that fell on someone. Well, it's pretty cheap that there's only so one. We just check real quick that we have everything, which we do. And last but not least, the third one just kind of has plates in it for some reason. What? Yeah, plates. Rest work. We're professional pinata poppers. We're doing you a favor. Punch. How? <laughs> I love it. I mean, you have the worst. Of... <laughs> they were like in the sewers a minute ago. Which can only mean one of two things: either A, Jimmy invited the cankers and put them in a pinata somehow, or B. <laughs> The cankers ran here and put themselves in a pinata. And somehow fit. Uh -huh. You see, it's kinda like it's kinda like when you have a party and you have a stripper jump out of a cake. It's that, but instead with piano and pinatas. Yeah, except the cakes are usually big enough. Fun fact by the way, you actually can shoot the cankers as they pop out to try and shoot you. If you hit them, they'll go away. But, uh... There's really no reason not to just kind of tank through all this, because there's no penalty for dying in this game. Plus, it's cutscene-based. Yeah. But she didn't even hide from... Cheater. Yeah. And this is cheap. You can't even hit her right here. There's nothing above her. But yeah, see, like, you Was die and you just Kevin? come right back here. It's no problem. Did Kevin revive you? No. It's not that nice. He totally did, though. That's just the power and benevolence of our Lord and Savior, Kevin. And with that, that's the end of this level.